you know, after playing with Kobe, did you guys continue a relationship? Did you continue to stay in touch and so forth? We did. You did. We did. Well, then 2020 happens. Yeah. Kobe, um, his daughter, and some other people as well, including other little kids, ends up dying in that uh, helicopter accident. Um, you know, I live down the street from where the, the accident happened, so it was very, it's kind of a very rough day. You know, we went down to, you know, walk down, you know, with all the other fans near the crash site and so forth. I mean, when you heard the news, considering that you guys had a relationship, how did it affect you? Well, I had just talked to him a week before that. Hmm. And we were talking about the Hall of Fame stuff that was coming up. And uh, how did it feel and, you know, how it was going to feel. Uh, he talked to my sons uh, because he had considered him like his nephew. And it was sending my son some shoes. Um I was on the plane and I was going to Atlanta because I was working for uh, TN, uh, Turner Sports at the time. And so when I got off the plane, my phone was blowing up, you know, and, and they were like, Kobe died. And I was like, no, nah, that's, that's crazy. Y'all, y'all tripping. You know what I'm saying? So then all of a sudden I get on the phone and start making calls. And then um, when TMZ confirmed it, I know that that's, that's when it's really, really real because they already really know the stuff. So yeah. I broke down and cried. Mm. Me and Brian Shaw was together, which Brian Shaw was always with us too. We cried for a while and we had to go on TV and basically talk about it. I didn't want to talk about it. I just talked to him week a week before and it's just like you don't think about that would happen not to him a young young guy, man who was only 41 years old was about to change women's basketball and this happens and it's still a shock to me after two years that he's gone and it's coming up on a two year anniversary real soon here. And I, I just, you know, I, you know, I got so many pictures up of him now in my house. That is crazy. I got all the books that's still down there and all that. And it's, it's like, it's, it's, uh, it's like, I don't know. I, I would have been to seen him a lot of more times. You know what I'm saying? I just went to uh, the Hall of Fame speech when Vanessa did her speech, which was crazy. And it would have been like, I would have been seeing him, you know, seeing him talk. And especially to, uh, to just see that he, he not here no more, it's just crazy. We talk about it, we see it, it's just, un, it's, it's not real to me. You know what I'm saying? And then I think about it and you you think, why did it have to happen to him? Why did it have, why did he have to pass? You know, and, and it's always a reason in the world for what happens. It makes it a reason for everything to happen. And we don't know why that we want, that God wanted to take him off this earth, but it's a reason. 